Okay, so while I'm waiting for takeout, I'm gonna do a quick um, pregnancy update because I haven't really had time to really sit down and kind of talk about what I've been feeling so far in terms of like symptoms and stuff. So right now it's April 8th, I think, and I'm actually eight weeks. I'll be nine weeks tomorrow. So at this time, I'm feeling a lot of um, nausea, like morning sickness, and a little bit of constipation, to be honest, but I think it's been going better. Um, I've been like feeling really gassy and bloated, and apparently all of this is normal, so um, yeah. At this point, my parents don't know yet because I'm waiting on something to get sent to them from Etsy and it's just taking a really long time so it's been it's been kind of hard to like hold it in <laughs> um, but yeah oh I've also been very tired and that was a really big challenge when work was really busy because I was just so exhausted all the time but yeah I'm excited to hit 12 weeks which would be my second trimester because I heard that's when you start getting your energy back and the morning sickness kind of goes away. I did learn that I get more, like I feel more morning sickness and more nauseated when I'm in the passenger seat. So it's been helping that if we're going somewhere that I'm driving. Um, so this past weekend, we actually went up to Santa Barbara to meet up with my friend now and I drove the way on the way there and RJ drove on the way back but on the way back I had a really bad nausea and we weren't really prepared so you can imagine what kind of disaster that was um but yeah um I don't know what this lady do is doing beside me because she already parked and now she's okay she's trying to get out but <sighs> Maybe I should go check if my food's ready because I'm getting hungry. Also, I learned what's helpful to avoid morning sickness is to eat a lot more, like have a lot of snacks. And I guess I do realize that when I was really busy with work, I wasn't eating frequently. Like I was just kind of so busy with work that I would prolong dinner and eat dinner really late. And so that wasn't helpful at all. Um, but work's slowing down now, so... You know, it'd be nice to get back into a little bit of a routine and kind of go on more walks and exercise and actually nourish myself. Um, we had our first meeting, our first appointment the other day and everything was going well. The baby's healthy. It's still so, it's still so weird to say that. Um, but yeah, I'll try to give updates here and there of kind of like changes in my body and things like that but so far I'm not showing I'm just bloated so maybe I do have a little bit of a belly <laughs> but that's just from being bloated and constipated so there's that um, I do want to start shopping though for like more comfier and flowier pieces just because I notice a lot of my clothing pieces are like this like this kind of material and it's not very stretchy um, and like just breathable and comfortable so that's gonna be on my list of shopping finds so I finally got my COVID booster shot after like I don't know months because in January I was actually due for my shot but then I got COVID so to wait a couple more months and then I got pregnant so I had to wait and confirm with my doctor if I was safe to get the back vaccine so finally got that done and you know check off my list and yeah we're on our way to go take our pregnancy photo announcements <laughs> with our hats right babe yeah so his says dad and then his says mom i think it's back there there it is So we're at our second appointment 
Yes, we are. <laughs> and your last one. Before deployment, yes. Yeah. I don't know what to say, but we're actually meeting our OBGYN today. But I don't know, is that what, is that what it's called? Huh? <laughs> what? Nothing. OBG Lula. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I wonder if we're doing another ultrasound. Yeah, I'm assuming we are. You think? Yeah, I believe they will. Um, to get undressed again. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Probably <laughs> wearing all that. A lot of leaves today. It's kind of raining. It's was it raining? It was raining when I was driving here. Oh. But yeah, we'll see how it goes and we shall update after. <laughs> Morning. So we just finished our appointment. It was pretty quick today. Um, what did we do? Oh, we got to hear baby's heartbeat. No yeah. ultrasound, but. Yeah, yeah you guys can hear the baby's beat, so. They did like the, put the little thing on my belly. It's like audio or something. And I just had to do another blood test for like first trimester something. I don't know. Yeah, hopefully baby's healthy. Nothing genetic wise. Yes, we'll find out, or I'll find out next week and I'll let you know. Huh? Okay. I'll find out next week and I'll let oh, you know. Oh, the results come out, okay. Or that's when I do another ultrasound. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna go back to work now. Or I'm gonna go to work and you're gonna go back to work. Yeah. Hello from my bed. <laughs> well, after our appointment this morning, I went back into work and I was feeling a little bit like lightheaded from, I guess, the blood drawn. So I just made sure to like stay really hydrated. Um, I did end up feeling really nauseous. So I did puke in the bathroom. And then... I was like, okay, I'm going to try to stick it out, have some lunch, and see how I feel. Um, but as the afternoon went by, my stomach just wasn't agreeing with me. I puked again before I decided, okay, I think it's time to go home. Um, and my supervisor is away this week, so I had to like contact another supervisor to let them know that I'm heading home and find coverage because I was on like a, sh on, like a backup shift. Um, and I was actually called to go downstairs and talk to a family, but I was like, I honestly can't right now. Um, and yeah, even driving home was a huge struggle. I was like, I just need to get home and I'll feel like better. I just kept looking at my maps and being like, okay, I'm only like 15 minutes away home. I'm only five minutes away home. Like I'm almost there. I can hang on. Um. But I did like kind of cough and like almost gagged, but I made sure not to like, I tried to like keep, keep it down before I like puke in the car and have like a huge accident. Um, and then yeah, I just spent like the rest of the afternoon in bed and yeah, wasn't a fun day in terms of my na nausea. I heard second trimester is a lot better, so we'll see how that goes. I'm currently 11 weeks right now, and the third trimester, oh, sorry, the second trimester starts at 13 weeks. So I'm almost done, my first trimester, as of next week, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm really curious to see if the nausea stays through. I heard some women experience it from till 16 to 18 weeks so i'm curious to see how that will stay through for me um just because i think my number one symptom has been nausea throughout this whole pregnancy so far i had a few instances of like constipation and um other things like that but yeah nausea is just my number one my number one symptom unfortunately <laughs> so i'm heading to my first appointment with without rj so yeah i'll be sure to update you guys on how it goes it's a fetal assessment for like genetic defects so yeah so i just finished with the appointment we basically did an ultrasound and took a bunch of photos and made sure like baby had two legs two arms and all of that 
They also did a test that matched up with my blood results from last week for the first trimester and everything looks good. There's low chances of like Down syndrome and this other one that I can't remember. Um, but yeah, everything looks good. The baby's measuring one centimeter shorter than it should, but maybe it's because we're just small. This hair. Um, but yeah, now I'm in the parkade and I need to find where I parked or remember where I parked.